it. Well, look at that. It's fast, sounds great. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland with the 5.7 Hemi V8, a very rare beast indeed. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Murdoch Hyundai here in Linden, Utah, for giving me some time with this Grand Cherokee. They do have this available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below. Definitely check them out. They also obviously sell the new Hyundai product as well. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes to an eight speed automatic transmission. It is good for 357 horsepower and then 390 pound feet of torque with fuel coming being 14 around town and then mid twenties on the highway. Now let's go over the front end of the Overland. So first off, you guys can see that this one is uh, very pretty with the paint color. It's like a cherry red, basically. Got the Jeep logo there in the center and then Jeep's signature front grille. And then we have the new Grand Cherokee's signature LED daytime running lights with the headlights. Fog light down below. Notice there's a little parking sensor integrated into that. And then we've got these chrome tow hooks with more parking sensors here in the center. And overall, I really like the styling on the new Grand Cherokee. I think it looks fantastic. Coming around the side here, we've got 265 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the design on the wheel itself, you got the silver on the top with the dark metallic gray below that. I think it's definitely a really cool design overall. This does have air suspension. Notice here how the fender flare is body painted. We have our Grand Cherokee logo right there. Notice the mirror is all blacked out and then you guys can see the chrome trim around the windows. And then if we take a few steps back, Here's your full side view, which I really like the proportions of the, the regular Grand Cherokee because this is obviously not an L. So here's a key fob for the Grand Cherokee. You've got your unlock function, your lock function opening for the hatch, and then the remote start function, Jeep logo on the back. Definitely a nice looking key fob, that is for sure. Pressing that a couple times, that'll open up the rear hatch. And if we pop inside here, you guys can see there for the sound system. But this is one of the big benefits of the Grand Cherokee is there's tons of storage space here in the back we got a 12 volt there as well and then you have your spare tire underneath but yeah just really spacious cargo area which just makes it super practical for families all that and then just press that button and that'll lower it back down and well now that that's lowered down let's actually go over the rest of the rear so you guys can see here with these signature led tail lamps notice how it kind of fades into this black trim that goes with the jeep logo i think that looks really good we have our overland badge four by four and then you guys can see here with the covers for the exhaust tips and then notice there with the parking sensors and that's the rear now here's the door panel in the back you guys can see with the padding there at the top and then notice the wood trim down below and then i love this interior color it's definitely interesting with the contrast and stitching automatic window and then you guys can see here a couple speakers for the macintosh sound system and then here are these seats in the rear really nice leather notice perforated there in the center let's actually pop in Boom! Wow! Legroom's great. Headroom's great as well. And then you guys can see with the little cargo net. And then notice there with the vents for the back passengers, little charging ports down below. And then we have our cup holder armrest set up. Let's head to the front. Now here is the front door panel. You guys can see again with the padding and then notice the wood trim and the silver trim down below that. We've got blind spot monitoring here for the mirrors. Memory seats and then you guys can see here for the windows. Again, all automatic. The mirrors do power fold in. And again, yeah, look at that contrast and stitching. It's very interesting. Another speaker for the Macintosh sound system. And then here are the front seats. Notice it says Overland in it. And then you can see perforated all down the center portion. Sorry about the camera viewpoint on that. Kind of bad lighting right now. And then all of our adjustments here on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below. We've got the hood latch release, parking brake, all of your light controls, including the fog light. And then you guys can see here with the trim all around. And then notice the stitching and padding. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel with the Overland. You guys can see here with the leather trim all around. Notice the wood trim there at the bottom then. The silver trim here, stitching around the airbag cover with the Jeep logo. We do have adaptive cruise control as well as paddle shifters and radio controls there on the back of the steering wheel. And then you can see all the controls right here on the side. Turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, and there's the steering wheel. 
Now I've got this full digital gauge cluster, as you guys can see. And uh, again, with the left side, you can kind of scroll through different menus, see different bits of info here on the Grand Cherokee, including, right, where we're at with the drive mode and the air suspension, all that. And also you can see what the fuel economy with this. This only has 1,200 miles on it though, so not sure how accurate that is for long-term use. We all have a bunch of different drive modes, sport, auto, snow, sand, mud, and then a rock mode. The air suspension will adjust with the different drive modes. So sport, it'll go lower, for example. Rock, it'll go higher. Now here is the center infotainment system. Before we go over that though, you guys can see up at the top, we've got lane departure, stability control, hazard lights, parking sensors, and then yeah, some blank switches. And also look at the dash. Nice leather trim all over the dash. Anyways, as for the infotainment system, if we pop it into reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and you get that zoom function. As for the rest of the infotainment system, pretty easy to use. You've got this shortcut bar here at the bottom. Notice we've got our dual zone climate controls, heated and cooled seats for the front as well. And yeah, just overall really easy system to use. You guys can see user friendly. It does take a little bit of time for certain functions to load up, but there you go. We've got our analog controls down below for the radio and for the climate controls and the heated and cooled seats. And then you can cover everything up with that little tab. But basically you got some charging ports here in this area. We have our dial shifter for that eight speed automatic transmission. Definitely feels high quality. Our drive mode select. Auto hold, four wheel low. Yes, this does have four wheel drive and four wheel low. It's real off-roader. Air suspension, hill descent control, and then you've got your true neutral. Some cup holders. And then we have our double center console. And then you guys can see here with the glove box, pretty normal setup. And then finishing things up here at the top, we do have a full panoramic center, lighter colored headliner as well. Controls for the center, regular mirror, and that's all she wrote. If you want the most up-to-date pricing on this Grand Cherokee, check out Murdoch Hyundai's website in the description down below. Let's drive it. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, which you can do a blind spot monitoring throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Oh, setting off in this Grand Cherokee Overland with the 5.7 Hemi, which, you know, everyone loves the 5.7 Hemi because it sounds good and you can't go wrong with the V8, especially since lots of manufacturers, frankly, are getting rid of uh, V8s, right? They're just like, you know what? We're out. We're not doing these fun, big, nasty aspirated V8s anymore. And so anyways, first off, torquey. It's very torquey. Sounds great too. Gets up and moves. We're actually gonna pop into the sport mode. Woo! This air suspension, because of the adjustment and everything, it makes it so it handles really well. And you still get really good ride comfort when you go for bumps and everything. And uh, if you guys don't remember, I took uh, one of these with the new 4x8 powertrain off-road. And I can tell you, this thing is very capable when it comes to off-roading. I was absolutely shocked at the uh, terrain that this was able to handle being, you know, a unibody SUV with independent front and rear suspension. <laughs> Gotta love that hemi noise though. Yeah, it's just such a such a fun engine seat comfort's really good with the overland as well we're gonna try here we're gonna turn here we're taking a new route um but yeah seat comfort's really good and you know overall i think that they've done just a fantastic job with the new grand cherokee i think it looks great on the outside especially considering or you know comparing it to the previous version of the grand cherokee i think that this looks a lot better than the previous version it's just a lot more um, upscale feeling and now I'm lost in a neighborhood and and so yeah it's just, just such such a good experience oh, I guess this is good it's a cul-de-sac these are nice houses um, <laughs> and, and so yeah they've just definitely improved things quite a bit I mean look perfect there you go there's an older Grand Cherokee like, this just looks so much better so much better and this Hemi sounds amazing. So a lot of you might be wondering why get the Hemi? It's the least efficient engine in the Grand Cherokee lineup because you know, the V6 less power, but better fuel economy. The 4xE has more power, more torque and better fuel economy. So like, why get this? Here's the deal. It is 
super reliable and we know that it's going to continue to be super reliable because this engine has been produced for tons of years it's been put into so many different vehicles from the ram 1500 to something like this grand cherokee and so it's just an engine that you know that you can trust right and you can't exactly say the same thing about the new 4 by e powertrain it sounds great on the surface fuel better fuel economy plug-in hybrid all that kind of stuff but you know who knows how long a turbocharged two-liter four-cylinder Pepto hybrid system is going to last, right? And if things do break, that's a lot more to manage than this because this, right, you're just having to deal with an engine that, well, look at that. It's fast. Sounds great. Um, you're just having to deal with an engine versus the 4 e turbos. You got the engine. You got the hybrid system. So much more complexity. So, yeah, it's probably going to be a lot more expensive to maintain. So, overall, I think this is a great uh, package. New Grand Cherokee is fantastic. The Overland basically gives you all the luxury uh, and you're not paying summit prices. So that's a big benefit. And 5.7 Hemi, it's got the power, it's got the sound, and it's got the reliability. That's gonna sum things up for our video with this Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland with the 5.7 Hemi. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Murdoch Hyundai here in Linden, Utah for giving me some time with this Grand Cherokee. Check out the intro in the description down below. I'll see ya.